Hello, hello. I'm Chris with the Legacy Team, and today we're going to continue the conversation of proving that not all turning centers are created equal. Uh, we're going to produce this awesome spindle. This is a coffee table leg that was prototyped. Um, we're going to be showing the um, prototype done on both the 3x5 and the 4x8 Maverick CNC systems. We'll show you the difference between manual tool change and auto tool change when it comes to the same spindle. This spindle is one of the more advanced spindles that we've had the pleasure of designing and programming. Uh, thank goodness for Legacy's conversational cam turning software and the turning center um, where we can produce this up to 12 times faster. If not, we would have to wrap carve the entire spindle on other 4-axis CNC systems. So let's show you how it's done by starting on the Maverick 3x5. The Maverick 3x5 has a manual tool change uh, liquid cooled spindle. And after the tools are changed, it touches off the smart tool pad to measure each height. And then the cutters will complete their tool path sequences. The dust collection was removed during this cutting demonstration. During Legacy's training sessions, we teach how to use the power of router profiles. Because 3D carvings take so much longer to produce, we save this cutting technique as a last case scenario. To save as much time as possible, the carving was restricted to just this 180 degree face. To save additional time in carving, we applied a technique called rest machining. This is when we're using a smaller tapered ball cutter to come and clean up the areas that the larger tapered ball cutter could not reach. This allows us to get the detail of a smaller cutter, but not having to carve the entire surface with the smaller cutter. Traditionally, these mortises are done as a secondary manufacturing step on other equipment after the spindle is produced. However, we can incorporate all of that into one program so the part is ready to be sanded and assembled right off the machine. After the index multi-sided sections are complete, we can proceed to the turning sections of the spindle. The surfacing cutter is a great example of using the power of the shape of a cutter. Not only are we turning stock round, but we're also quickly roughing out the material to a general shape. The 
The cutters shown throughout the spindle are from two manufacturers, that is from Magnate and Precise Bits. All the cutter shape carbide profile cutters are from Magnate.net, whereas the two taper ball cutters to create the 3D carvings are from PreciseBits.com. Many spindle designs, like this one, that have this contour shape uh, cannot be done with traditional rabbit profiles. We have to use a ball cutter that follows along the top surface to create the contour effect. This entire turning process for contour turning has been pioneered and added to our Conversational Cam Pro software. By simply changing the size of our ball cutter, we can get larger or smaller details. Many of the cutters from Magnate.net, including the side reading cutter, were designed by Legacy's team. This spindle required seven cutters to complete every detail. Our philosophy of using the shapes of cutters first and then 3D carving last makes it so we can produce this elegant spindle 12 times faster than other 4-axis CNC turning centers. So there we have it, our first prototype on the Maverick 3x5. Uh, we're going to make a few program adjustments. Um, there's a few cut depths that just need to be modified. Um, so I'll make those changes and then let's go uh, cut this on the Maverick 4x8 using the auto tool change feature. Uh, we can kind of compare the difference for you. The Maverick 4x8 is going to perform the exact same tool pass we just saw on the Maverick 3x5. The only difference will be that the Maverick 4x8 has an auto tool change and the operator is not required to be at the machine during those tool change sequences. Just like we saw in the 3x5, the Maverick 4x8 touches off the smart tool pad to find the height after every tool change. Auto tool change gives us two distinct advantages. First, it allows the operator to step away from the machine freeing up their time to complete other tasks that are in the shop. Second, the auto tool change has a slightly shorter runtime because it can simply change tools faster than we can manually. One of the top regrets I hear from legacy customers is that those that were considering auto tool change and went with manual tool change wish they had gone auto tool change from the beginning. The only reason this entire spindle wasn't carved but machined like you just saw is because of Legacy's Conversational Cam Pro. This software not only has tool paths to create turnings and indexing features, but also allows us to import custom G-code like the wrapped carving section directly into our list of tool paths under Conversational Cam and automatically combine them all into one file. These turned out fantastic. 
Now, if you're interested in talking to a CNC expert and to learn more about our legacy CNC systems, you can always call 801-491-0010. You can also visit our website at lwmcnc.com. Now, if you want to see more demonstration videos like these, click right over there. You know the drill of subscribing, liking, and checking that notification box to receive notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. Now remember, Legacy solves more woodworking problems like these than any other CNC manufacturer in the industry.